Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be Tutorial 5 in the Lua series, where we're going to be covering how to give your players weapons. Now, let's go into team setup.lua, and remember we have the red team with a set of weapons and the blue team with a set of weapons. And these, this weapons is a table on its own. So we're going to need a method for actually putting weapons in here. So this is going to dictate, these tables are going to dictate what weapons the red team and the blue team gets. So a very good resource is Moritz.tv, which is outdated. However, it's very practical in Lua coding today because it has a bunch of wonderful examples and whatnot that still apply to Lua. And if we go here, we're going to grab the weapon entities from this website. So right here we have the Magnum. Uh, let's give that to the red team. We can also give them bug bait or a frag grenade. So let's do that. So to do that, we're going to put in quotes. So we have a Magnum. And then we're going to put in quotes weapon underscore bug bait. And also weapon underscore frag grenade. All right. And with the blue team, let's say we want to give them weapon underscore crowbar and weapon underscore crossbow and perhaps a shotgun too, just to make things fair. Weapon underscore shotgun. All right. Now actually, I'm going to get rid of the bug bait in this example because I want to make a point with the number of entries in this table. And I'm going to do that after we type out this new custom function, because alone we're just defining what the teams have. We don't have a method to actually give the teams their weapons yet, and that's what this function is going to be for. So we're going to say play, referring to the meta table player up above, and we're going to say give weapons, and we're going to have some parameter n. All right. So. What's going to happen here is we're going to create a for loop. Now, for loops are very useful when giving players a bunch of weapons, in this case, with a table. And I'm going to show you why after I type it up. So we're going to say k, comma, weapon, in pairs, teams, n, dot, weapons. So you should remember what this does from up here. And then we're going to say do. We're going to end it, and we're going to say self, which refers to this player self right here. And we're going to give the player whatever weapon is. All right. So what's going on here? So for every k entry in this table, table teams dot n, so it could be the blue table or the red table, we're going to get the weapons from these teams, so this weapons, or this weapons, depending on what n is. That's what n pairs does. It will go through all the different values, or get all the different values from here, and will assign it for each value to weapon, the variable weapon, and it will give the player weapon. So pretty much in short, it's going to say when k equals zero, it's going to grab the crowbar. and Weapon's going to equal crowbar, and the player is going to get crowbar. When k equals 1, the weapon's going to be crossbow, and it's going to give the player a crossbow. When uh, k is equal to 2, which is the final uh, yeah, volume of value in this one, uh, weapon's going to be shotgun, it's going to give the player a shotgun. And then it's going to stop right there. So in this case, it's going to first give uh, the magnum to the player when k equals 0. When k equals 1, it's going to give the player a frag grenade, right? And then it's going to stop there. So this is a very useful function for what we're trying to do. Now, we also, if you uh, need more information on that, by the way, there's a website right here, which I'm going to put into the description called lua.org. It's the reference manual, and it goes over all these different topics, which I haven't really covered in too much detail. However, it will better explain everything, since this is Lua code after all. So anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. And let's say at the end of all this, I'm going to say self, referring to this player, remember. 
and we're going to say give weapons n. So this n is going to be this n, which is going to transfer over to this n, which goes to this n. I know it sounds confusing at first, but it works. So again, if this is 0, this will be 0. Thus, this is 0, and this will be 0. If this is 1, this will be 1, this will be 1, this, this is 1. All right, simple enough. All right, so let's test this out. All right, so we have the server set up here, and we have the blue teams, the crowbar, the shotgun, and a crossbow. And so we're going to type kill. And one more time should do it. This we're really not fortunate. And here we have the red team, which has a magnum and a frag grenade. So there you go. And we just confirm that this loop works. And everything's going according to plan, except for one issue. Notice that there's no hands on these uh, guns right here. Now we can actually fix this, and there's reference to this error, error in the um, wiki gmod right here. It's called using vmodel hands. And if we go down here, there's going to be an instance where we're using without player class. And if we copy and paste this, I won't get into how this works just yet because I don't want to cause confusion and all that. Um, we go into init.lua and we paste this right here and then we'll go back and we'll take this player setup hands notice it's in the player spawn function which is what we have Co coincidence maybe maybe not anyway so we have player setup hands so we just paste that right there in the player spawn save it and we're going to restart the server all right and now the server is back up and running and as you can see we now have hands to go with our weapons and you can even see that I am on the red team, as indicated by the color of the shirt. So, type kill. And now you can see I'm on the blue team. And hands are working just fine. So, that's, that's a typical issue. And I actually wanted you to see that firsthand because that's something that confuses a lot of people when they're just starting Lua. But anyway. I hope this tutorial helped you guys, and I will see you in the next video.